So yes guys, uh, hi, welcome back to our channel Biolab and this is Vamsi and in today's video we will be talking about human nervous system and yes I am with my whiteboard set up here uh, yeah give me a one day or two day time I will be also setting up the light and everything will be clear in two days and yes uh, you know sometimes I will be sitting here then I will be trying to pause the video maximum times sometimes uh, if I haven't paused the video, please adjust for a minute as you all know my condition, what is my condition. So without any further ado, let's get into the video on human nervous system. And yes, in, yes, uh, in the previous video, I have told you about uh, the stimulus. It is an uh, you know innumerable bits of, it, uh, bits of information that is present in our surroundings that our body can detect and respond. And also I have told you that a human nervous system is being classified into two types. So what we will be discussing about human, let me go that set. Human nervous system. we will be discussing about human nervous system and also we will be seeing the, the structure of neuron yes in the last video I have told you that the human nervous system let us write a short form that is HNS human nervous system please do not confuse what is HNS now HNS is nothing but human nervous system I am writing it here the HNS is being classified into two types or two parts of parts. They are first part is called as CNS, second part is called as PNS. And I have to uh, I have also told you that I have also told you that this is covered in the previous video, but I am just covering it uh, now again as we have to learn about it. CNS is called as the central nervous system nervous system and PNS is called as peripheral nervous system ok CNS is so CNS it includes the brain and spinal cord here. So CNS includes brain plus spinal cord. And the PNS includes the nerves adjacent to the brain and spinal cord. Okay, basically if you consider the CNS as our main, like the supply main. Uh, you know the electricity main switch which we have the MCB switch MCB board uh, then the PNS would be your electrical wires and the light and fans would be your would be our uh, you know body parts then consider like that you would be remembering it very easy so that is about CNS and PNS now we will be seeing the detailed structure about the PNS uh, about the types of neurons are now present in the PNS Let's start. There are two types of nerves present in the PNS are uh, efferent and efferent respectively. Afferent nerves and efferent nerves. Uh, for remembering that, I'll be giving you a trick, a small trick. Remember that way, you'll be able to remember it very fine. Yes, let's talk more about the PNS. And you already know that CNS it is a central processing unit. Uh, you can consider it uh, the brain as the processor. I have a computer for computer the processor is much important so for a human body the processor is also very important so that is a brain and that is why CNS is your central processing unit so now let's talk about the PNS the muscle fibers or muscles so the nerve fibers nerve fiber it is a group of neurons you can type it as the 
narrow file cuts and in the PMS are divided into two types. Not the PNS but the muscle fibers, nerve fibers. Sorry, uh, I can say sometimes muscle fibers since we have just completed the locomotion chapter. Please adjust with it and please learn that it is nerve fibers. NF means nerve fibers divided into two types. Not the PNS but the nerve fibers. Nerve fibers in PNS are divided into two types. What are those? The first one is FR nerve fibers or narrow fibers and efferent narrow fibers got it this is very important you have to just understand the logic behind it what is efferent and what is efferent a n f and e n f okay just understand the laws behind it then you'll be mostly reminding uh, remembering uh, the definition of those now efferent coming to efferent muscles these are the efferent you know uh, from tissues they send the signals to cns efferent effect not effect eff effect from you know uh, there was a stimulus there is a stimulus called for pain or sound so from my ear tissues ear organs ear the uh, the you know the nerve impulse or the stimulus should be sent into brain for interruption uh, for decoding it so that is why that is why the afferent muscles uh, sorry, uh, nerve fibers get used for that one afferent nerve fibers get used from tissues let me write it here a simple a uh, thing you have to remember this is very important here is your cns cns now here is your affected tissue this is your tissue now what happens is from the stimulus which is detected at the tissues uh, converts it into a um, uh, nerve impulse and sends it into the CNS through the afferent nerve fibers ANF these afferent nerve fibers and uh, what is meant by effect? effect is something that uh, comes as a response for something yes uh, here uh, you know the uh, you can call it as action and reaction simply what is reaction? it is the action done for in response to the action which is done it is a or you know you can take uh, what is reaction uh, it is a function then in a response to the action so like that only here effect is effect is something done in response to the effect remember like that effect is that is something done in response to the effect efferent and efferent now as the tissues or as the tissues uh, stimulus was sensed in tissues in the sensory tissues and from there the, it was sent to the CNS for processing now CNS has to send again uh, information what to do with that that is sent or that is passed to the different nerve fibers from CNS to the tissue this is your second part the first part is done by ANF uh, FN nerve fibers and the second part is done by the ENF, efferent nerve fibers. Got it? These are the two types of nerve fibers present in the PNS. And the two types of nerve fibers present in the PNS. Now pause the video. If you want, you can copy it. There is not of much important information here. Just copy this one. This is very important. You have to remember. Otherwise, you will be getting confused between efferent and efferent. See, simply remember this diagram so that you can uh, in the exam they ask you can just write CNS here tissue T uh, T to C T to CNS tissue to CNS what is it? F I can C to T got it? you can remember please make a note of this
Just give me a day, I'll be setting the lighting system. It's not of much clear. Only I'm talking with one tube light. I'll be setting it. Give me one day. Please make a note of this. Pause the video and make it. Note. Yes, hope you made a note. I'm just rubbing it. Now we'll be discussing the types of PMS. We'll be discussing the categories in PMS. We have discussed the categories in HNS, CNS, and PMS. We have discussed the categories in nano fibers. In the PMS, present in the PMS. Now we'll be talking about the categories in PMS. Now let's stop this. After this, you will be getting the structure of neuron. That is important again. We'll be seeing types of neurons also. No fan here. I have to put fan since there is a voice disturbance. Some noise is coming. I have a more AC in my studio or room. It's just my study room where I did record everyday videos. Now let's talk about the PMS. PMS or peripheral nervous system is again divided into two types. Okay. Ready? Let us move on. I am putting the heading as it is, but I am writing here. Yeah. About CNS, we will be talking a little later. One minute, guys, one minute. Let's continue. Uh, as we said, as I said, we will be talking about PNS. And the PNS has got nothing to do with the processing uh, information. It has only the role in transferring information from one end to other. So we have two types of PNS based on the location or target site you can say. So based on the location there are two types of PNS. The first one is somatic nervous system. And the second one is autonomic nervous system. Somatic nervous system and autonomic system. Now what are these two? The somatic nervous system relays impulses from CNS to the to the skeletal muscles. The somatic nervous system is relays information from the CNS to the uh, skeletal muscles. Now, uh, what is this role called as? Afferent or efferent? Yes, I have told you from CNS to organs. We call it as efferent role. So, efferent role is made, played by these two. Somatic as well as autonomic nervous systems. Now, somatic nervous system relays impulses from I am writing this as SNS this has ANS. Okay. ANS and SNS. Just remember this terminology for today only. Now SNS relays impulses from let me give you again the diagram, let me draw the again. But this time we'll be only drawing the one side. Since it is all different. All is different. See from CNS uh, to from CNS to skeletal muscles. Or voluntary muscles. Voluntary organs. Uh, like hand, legs, limbs, those are. It is done by SNS, the first one. CNS to skeletal muscles, SNS, voluntary to the muscles. Voluntary in nature. Now from CNS to the, uh, you can say the involuntary muscles like cardiac and visceral muscles. Cardiac, visceral. Cardiac and visceral, you can uh, take them as involuntary. Involuntary organs, heart and those are. 
it is done by ANS autonomic. The ANS relieves impulses from CNS to cardiac and visceral organs or involuntary organs. You can understand by the name autonomic, autonomic or automatic. Autonomic and automatic, the organs which doesn't require our, uh, you know, our will and wish in order to run. So those are called as autonomic organs or visceral organs. I'm sweating like anything, but yeah. Let's continue. Uh, from CNS to involuntary organs, it is done by cardiac and visceral muscles. From CNS to some uh, skeletal muscles, it is done by somatic nervous system. Okay, please make a note of this, then we'll be moving on. I have not written these in, uh, you know, uh, verbal form, uh, since remembering as verbal form, according to me, is much complicated than remembering as diagrammatic form. If you see this diagram, you can then understand very easily. CNS to skeletal muscles is done by SNS. And CNS to involuntary muscles is done by ANS. You can remember that very well. So till here we have completed the PNS about the PNS. Please pause the video and make a note of it. And now we have completed the PNS. PNS is completed till here. This is all only the functions of PNS means it is only transfer of data from either CNS to the skeletal muscles from C uh, skeletal muscle to CNS it is called afferent this is afferent in function sorry yeah. from skeletal muscles to CNS this afferent function from involuntary to this is called as afferent this is efferent, this part is efferent. The stomatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system that's the function of efferent from CNS to the uh, affected organs. So now let's move on to the types of autonomic nervous system. Let's move on to the types of autonomic nervous system. Uh, Yes, uh, here uh, there is not of much uh, about the autonomic nervous system or the ANS. We will be completing it now, and I am afraid that we do not have the time for structure of the one. That should be taken in another class. Yes, sir. Now we will be closing the class with the autonomic system types, and I will be giving you a four chart or mind map of, of all this in order to remember the same. Now, let's move on to the classification of autonomic nervous system AMS. I will be explaining them once again when I give you the project at the last time. Just don't worry and wonder. Okay, let's continue. Talking about the ANS, two types of ANS, again ANS is divided into two types. What are they? The first type is called as sympathetic and second one is called as parasympathetic. Sympathetic and parasympathetic. The AMS is classified into two types basically the autonomic nervous system which release impulses from CNS uh, to the involuntary organs. It is classified into two types that is the sympathetic nervous system, sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Now what happens is uh, Yes, we have some, uh, you know, functions of these two. These two functions are antagonist to each other, okay? The two are antagonist to each other functions. Uh, 
on and talk the next please ignore the spelling is wrong and take a next to each other or you can simply write it opposite opposite to each other if this accelerates some function it decelerates that function why is this all happen acceleration of the function deceleration of function what is all this happening here yes this is all happening only for homeostasis which we have seen in the introductory video coordination is only happening for homeostasis okay that one you have to remember ultimate goal of these all is only homeostasis you we have to remember that so these two functions are opposite let me give you an example of these two if sympathetic nervous system if sympathetic nervous system we are talking about heart beat heart beat is main function sympathetic nervous system increases the heart beat and parasympathetic nervous system decreases decreases the isn't this a big wonder why it is happening like that our normal heart beat is 72 beats per minute 72 beats per minute and if the sympathetic nervous system increases the heart beat it goes from some let us say from 70 to 90 72 to 90 then it becomes a problem in order to avoid that problem the parasympathetic nervous system what it does is it again gets back into the, into the original condition but if the parasympathetic nervous system decreases the heart beat uh, from 70 to to some 60 you see then the sympathetic nervous system again raises the heart beat and brings it into uh, 70 to original condition so this is how the uh, functions of these two are antagonist to each other opposite to each other either we discuss about the ans Uh, in that we we discuss you know sympathetic and parasympathetic there are two types and their functions are antagonist that's it we have to remember in this now coming into the neurotransmitter which is studied we have generally uh, you know two types of synapses uh, we'll be talking it uh, when we talk about the structure then i'll be telling it okay now no need to remember that one and convince your brain so in our locomotion chapter i have told you that acetylcholine is the neurotransmitter neurotransmitter for neuromotor change so what is done by neuromotor change so i think i was just so like that we will be having so many you know neurotransmitters which we have to remember two names i'll be telling you when we discuss about the structure and the text unit now let me give you a small flow chart before that please make a note of these two Pause the video. Please make a note of this. This one it is important a little. You can make a note even about the example itself. Then you will be understanding. Right here increases and decreases. When you refer your notes, you will be understanding. Please make a note about the uh, example itself. It is very important. So hope you have completed. Let's move on to the flow chart. Why it was moving at all? Yeah, I just hanged it so that is why it is moving. So no problem, as we have completed the lecture. So perfect. Yes. Now let's discuss a small flow chart here. The hexana. I'll be giving you the shortcuts. I'll be writing the shortcuts, but I'll be doing the flow. full name so the hns is generally divided into two parts one it is the cns central nervous system brain and spinal cord and pms the now associated with the cns uh, now cns it is divided into uh, yeah the this one i hope i will not say it now i will be telling you later this one Okay. Let's see if the classification of CNS. I'll be telling you the classification of CNS later. Now just only remember the classification of PNS. Now in PNS, for our convenience, I have divided the PNS into two types. One 
and classification of no fibers and to the classification of PNS itself. Now classification of nerve fibers we have two types somatic nervous system SNS and autonomic nervous system ANS. Somatic nervous system from C to CNS to skeletal muscles, ANS from CNS to involuntary muscles. Involuntary muscles. The PNS is again divided into uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, the PNS is again divided into autonomic nervous system, somatic and autonomic. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, this is not PNS. Uh, this is PNS. Sorry guys, sorry for the mistake I have made. PNS is classified into somatic and autonomic. Well, whereas coming into neurofibers, they are divided into afferent, efferent. These both work on the principle of efferent. Efferent. These both. Okay? That is the thing. That is the thing. Afferent. From uh, tissue to CNS, like, like this T to C, afferent, C to T, effect. This is again divided into good. Okay, guys, remember this drive group, this flow chart, it is important. Some sort can get confused here. So, that is it, guys, for this video. And okay, let us write CNS also. We have to. Brain and spinal cord, right? So that is it for uh, today's video, guys. And this is from signing on. And in tomorrow's or in the next lecture, we will be talking about the structure of neuron. Yes, yeah, so if you like the video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Bye, bye. This is from Have you a great day for that, guys. Thank you.